Hey folks, this is IOE Ether and we're back with some more <laughs> World of Tanks. I almost said it with some more Extreme Unicorn Warfare, which is technically true because this is, of course, Extreme Unicorn Warfare. Um, and he's going to go out and kick some butt. So it starts off with him almost killing himself because that would be, you know... Wait, what's that flag? I feel like I should know what flag that is, but I don't. Somebody's going to kick my butt for not knowing that. But anyways, um, we're going to pause this before he actually gets into the action. Um, and I want to talk about the fact this is a Tier 9 game on Cliffs. And this is the Tier 8 German uh, Premium Tank Destroyer, the Scorpion G. So, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Um, Extreme has had some comments of late on the channel about games not quite being up to snuff or... You know, that I, I'd put out some less than amazing games. And then he sent me this thing. So this better be up to snuff. But from the stats I saw at the end of the game, this should be a lot of fun. And so this is to kick off your Friday and uh, get it going with some, you know, oomph to it. Uh, enemy T49 is right in front of him. If he gets shot by this thing, this will be the end of his game. Nope. Goes the other way around, of course. As the T49 is more interested in running away than doing anything, you know, aggressive. Which is a bit off for a tank that uh, ran that far ahead of his, the rest of the scene. He ends up getting himself killed. Good. One less tank that can wreck us in one shot. Um, before we get into the game proper, though, I do want to say, uh, if you think this deserves the MVP, MVP for the week, then please do hit that like button. And if you want to get... Uh, see more videos like this then subscribe or if you've already subscribed make sure you hit that little notification the little bell thing right next to the subscription otherwise YouTube won't actually send you all my games which is a bit weird because if you subscribe that's probably because you want to see my stuff but apparently YouTube decides that's not actually what that means um, also uh, in all things thank the, thank the patrons for they are awesome they really do help provide amazing or help me provide you guys with with everything I do. So yeah, like the MVP program. That's completely 100% patron support. As I ramble on, yeah, there we go. Nice shot into the T44. And uh, he's, ooh, look at this. The object obviously thinks he's in cover. Now he may realize that there's a problem with his cover. All this time, I'm assuming we haven't been lit. I didn't, wasn't really paying attention to the start of the game if he has six cents or not. So I'm just assuming that's a premium tank. He's got his one of his best crews in here. I'm going to assume he's got six cents. Um, I'm also assuming that shot bounced because more than 50% of the time that red kill was turning up blue and not green. And this is a dead T44. <laughs> no, they're just things you can assume. So up to 2,000 damage. Um, that shot into the object notwithstanding. Uh, looks like I, I have actually no idea if that penned or not. Uh, but the object is bailing. Or, no, maybe he's just pushing up the hill at a weird angle. Either way, it involves him not being shot by us anytime soon. The hawk apparently has decided is committing to going up that hill. No, he's just going up to the rocks. It looks like he is then going to back off. He's trying to work that hill. The, the problem with working that hill is if there's big tanks around you, you can get worked yourself worked over quite easily. And so if that hawk isn't really careful, yeah, that's the poor, that's the th kind of thing that can happen to it. He was trying to, so the hawk was trying to make sure that the coast is clear to jet up the hill. Uh, and by doing that, really all it did was tell everybody, hey, look at me, look at me, I'm going to go up the hill. <laughs> and thus, well, we had at least one scorpion looking at him when he made that move for the hill. And uh, that was the end of him. T95 down there, that is dangerous, but is backing off, so it's probably not dangerous to us. T34 over there, though, it looks like prime target to get himself killed. And he's not even looking in this direction yet, so that is a dead T34. Also gets some spine damage on the T95 while we're at it, because why not? T95 is down to only 700 health, so if 
Unicorn gets the opportunity, he's gonna be trying to take that thing out. The Oho is in a bad position. He can't really defend himself against Warfare and the Scorpion up here because we can actually see down into some of the weaker parts of the tank. Um, especially when he's backing up like that. That really like completely negates his armor. And so if the Oho con continues to decide that that's what he's going to do, then he's going to continue to get himself shot. Now that shot unfortunately looked like a bit, went a bit high, hit that gun mantle, and bounced right off. Uh, and that's a bit unfortunate. But that shot didn't. And he's going to continue to farm this poor guy as long as he possibly can. We're up to 4,000 damage already. And we haven't really seen extreme pick up and run with anything yet. He's getting shot by a, an even 90, but it's not a huge threat to him. Um, that thing can't unload as fast as, as some of the other auto loaders in the game, and it's not nearly accurate at this kind of distances as a lot of the other auto loaders in the game. So it only actually penned one shot, and that's it's you know whatever at this point in time. This far into the game, only having taken 200 damage is really good and um, not really something he has to worry about quite yet. He's still worried about that T95 pushing around the corner and finds another shot into the Oho while he's sitting here wondering. So what is his average damage supposed to be? 490, okay. That explains the 475 rolls. He's been getting a little bit better. The, uh, the five <laughs> 553 though seems a bit, <laughs> a bit high. Nice, nice, nice high roll, right? So he's pushing over. He wants to try and either get behind the T95 or just get behind the Type 5. Or, of course, if he can spot artillery, which is exactly what happens. Now, we are lit right now, so he does need to make that shot count and then get back out of there. The Oho is probably what lit us, uh, but the Oho wasn't paying attention, so he didn't actually have to worry about dodging the Oho shot. Assuming the Oho is still pointing forward. No, he's actually pointing up towards our... The friendly WZ, unfortunately, that shot didn't go in. That would have been the end of the Oho. And that would have given us a lot more free reign. As it is, we just push over this range line and pop a shell into a T-34-3. You know some pulling back just in time to avoid the Oho shell. That was that big thing you saw fly past the screen. Uh, looking down into the T-95, finds the weak point at the back of the tank. That was the rear armor he hit. A uh, rear... Uh, top armor that he connected that shell with and that was well done I r again risking a shot from the T-34 to put a shot in return I don't know if that was worth it because of the fact that we did take a shot uh, from the T-34 and the T-34 obviously you know sim similarly the amount of damage is being done here has more health to start with than us but overall I guess why not if you it's a damage is damage, I guess. I don't know. Gets a nice shot into T, uh, Type 4. And he's going to get at least one more in before the Type 4 is able to die. Uh, type 4, in the meantime, is apparently just taking out teammates. <clears throat> and that is game right there. 6,400 damage that we know of. We're going to jump over to the battle results and see if he actually broke 7,000. There was at least one blind shot on the object we don't remember what happened with. We don't know what happened with, and unfortunately not quite enough to edge out that top gun. And actually, if he platooned up with one of these two guys, then this would have been Brothers in Arms. But I don't think... I th either he didn't think about that at the time, or neither of them accepted an invite. I don't know what happened exactly. I'm sure, you know, Corn Warfare is going to be active in the comments and tell us exactly what happened. Good job, though. I also need to note he is running chocolate, so he had, does have that boost to all his crew skills, and it is going to cost him a little bit in in the end. But I'm fairly certain, based on this game, this was worth it. And uh, we'll jump over and see what his after <laughs> after action report is. So when I told you this game was special, I wasn't lying. This is, of course, the Ace Tanker, Boozer, Fighter, Fire for Effect, High Caliber, and Tank Sniper Awards. And those are kind of cool, but not necessarily... Okay, so he did only put the one show into the object. Um, that's all cool and all, but the fact is... 
that seven six thousand four hundred and seventy four damage has seventeen hundred experience. I think that is the highest experience I've ever had on this channel. Somebody might be able to correct me on that, but I'm fairly certain that's the highest. And just based on the fact that he purely did damage. And he spotted his own damage for the most part. Only a few of these shots were put into things that he couldn't see personally. Which is why he's got so much experience earned from that. For a normal game, times two, mind you, with a bonus, with his reserves running, he nets 8,000 experience. After everything's said and done, he still walks away with another 200,000 in credits earned. Now, yeah, he was wearing the personal reserves, so that did bump it up quite a bit. But even without that, it would still be over a or 100k credits earned. Uh, and just an amazing game. This is the, the types of things you can do with a Scorpion. And it just involves you getting into in positions where other people don't necessarily think about aiming at. Or other people don't expect you to be. That first position he held, that's a medium tank spot. That's where you expect a Object 140 or like you know some other meme tank from your team to end up in that location. That's not where you expect a Scorpion G to be sniping from. Especially while in cover and more or less invisible for the majority of that game. That was awesome and well played, sir. Again, if you guys think this deserves an MVP, which I personally do, then go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, in all things, if you want to see more action like this every week, every day, uh, then go ahead and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please make sure you've hit that little notification button. Make sure you actually see all the games I put out and all the, the content I put out. Otherwise, YouTube sometimes filters it, and it's annoying as anything. Um, and then, in all things, of course, thank the patrons for they are awesome. They really do support a ton of stuff on this channel, and there would be a ton of stuff I couldn't do without them. So I will see you all later. Have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for more fun and awesomeness. This is IO Ether out.